Welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm gonna turn off this light because it looks better. I love it. Anyways, welcome back. We currently came to Dutch Bros. They launched their holiday drinks today, which I did not know about. Sorry, babe. So that's what we came for, and we also got the holiday stickers. Um, I believe every Wednesday, every first of the month, first Wednesday of the month, I cannot talk. Um, every first Wednesday of the month, they launch stickers, and they did today, and these say it's a radical life but i don't know if you can see they're very glittery so we kind of try and get all the stickers because we put them on our water bottles it's kind of a new little hobby we um started doing but the main reason i started making this video before we get onto it don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already give this video a thumbs up and leave me some comments on what we should try next today is dutch bros holiday launch and tomorrow's is starbies so i'm going to um compile these into one video and yeah it's gonna be a holiday drink taste test but we only got two different ones today i got the sugar and spiced iced oat milk latte and then my wife got i'll let you say it i don't remember the holly jolly rebel it's um pomegranate and then it has soft top and sprinkles so the, the cup says happy holiday Deck oh yeah Deck since 1992. oh that's cute yeah they have holiday cups and they also have um hot holiday cups right yeah hopefully starbucks has them this year because last year they didn't because of like covid and stuff but dutch bros did so let's kick in the festivity let's um i hope you enjoyed the video let's get on with it i don't know why i didn't put it there earlier because it looks so much better with the lighting but sugar and spice okay it kind of just tastes like a latte with cinnamon on top it does it's giving a little bit of after after aftertaste I don't know what exactly the flavors are in here because all it said was spice up your latte with something about something about spice winter spice something I'll probably read it right now but this one's good this is like Red Bull with pom with like not pomegranate this is like a regular Red Bull with the cream on top it's good it just I don't I can't pinpoint the flavor in that one we have the Holly Jolly <laughs> Rebel <laughs> No, it's good. It's good. It's good. Oh, that's good. Good. It does taste like just like the Rebel on its own, but it has like a little bit of pomegranate in there. It tastes, and it tastes like cinnamon. It just tastes like cinnamon. Right? Chef's kiss. This is very good. I, so bad. I like this, but next time I would definitely get the Holly Jolly Rebel. So um, they do have a few more. Um, I don't know if these were new ones. I We haven't had Dutch, Bro Dutch Bros until we moved here to Colorado. Dutch Bros is not a thing anywhere that way. I know there's one in Texas. Um, I think there's one in Tennessee and up like in uh, Washington, but there's none anywhere that way like where Virginia's at. So um, I'm not sure if these are new or if they're returning or what's going on here, but it's good. I'd probably get it again if I needed to, but I think I would definitely aim towards the Holly Jolly Rebel. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. This is really good, actually. Yeah. Like this this on top, I like it. It's like the perfect amount of sweet and the perfect amount of, like, Red Bull flavor, which they don't use Red Bull. I think I heard that they make their own, like, energy drink. And they use Red Bull. I saw the cans. Really? Yeah. It literally says Red Bull energy drink. The controversy. It just, Someone um, told me they don't, they don't use Red Bull. They have their own energy drink. They have their own pumps that they put in there. Yeah, I know that. Shook. I'm shook but anyways they did have like a candy cane cold brew I saw a salted caramel cold brew I saw uh, a candy cane hot chocolate so kind of like the regular schmegular holiday drinks I know tomorrow Starbucks is launching all their same drinks nothing new yeah they don't have nothing new my favorite is the chestnut praline so that's what I will be getting and then she likes the toasted white mocha so I'll probably be nice and take one of her to work yeah. um but yeah, Dutch Bros is killing it. I've been I'm been loving the idea of the stickers. I'm sorry I can't talk, but cheers. This one's good. I would never thought foam 
with this would be good. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people do that, like on TikTok and stuff. And at the last minute, she wasn't going to get it. We usually get, um, we've been getting the same drink. It's a salted caramel mocha with soft top and cinnamon sprinkles. And she was going to get that, like her original drink. And the last minute, she decided to get the, the Rebel. So I'm glad she did because it's really, really good. Good morning. It's literally first thing in the morning. My dog is hungry. Remy? Remy? Okay. I just woke up. I'm about to jump in the shower. Um, hopefully lunch is today at Starbucks. So we're getting up early to go get me a chestnut premium latte. I don't know if I want to do iced or hot. I think I'm going to be a crackhead and do iced. We'll see. But I'm going to head that way after I get dressed. So I'll tune in in a little while. I still have to take my dogs out, um, take my neighbor's dog outside, and then we'll be on the way. Hello everybody, coming to you from the car. It is 8.54. Whenever I filmed that first clip, it was significantly earlier. You can still see the dry shampoo in my hair, but honestly, it's fine. But let's go ahead and go to Starbucks. I was gonna get an ice drink today, but I think I'm gonna be a little cold girl and I'm gonna get a hot drink because it's 37 degrees. Here in Colorado, it's supposed to snow later today. We're supposed to have our first um, snow of the year because they said you need at least 10 inches to be considered the first snow of the year. I think it was 10 inches. 10 inches? I think it was 10 inches but yeah so um, we're probably not gonna get that much over here but I know up in the mountains they're supposed to get like two feet of snow so ah, I'm so excited if you're planning on coming to Colorado now's the time like if you like to do skiing and stuff because it's gonna start snowing up in the mountains and I'm pretty sure once the snow is there it's gonna stick but let me stop rambling make sure if you haven't done so already give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and let's go ahead and get on with the video sorry it completely cut me off but as i was saying i got a venti hot chestnut praline look at the cup so cute i love it i don't think i've ever seen a white cup with designs on it they've always been either green based or red base so a white cup with Christmas colors on it chef's kiss I got that and I also got the sugar plum cheese Danish because I forgot about it how did I forget about the sugar plum cheese Danish that thing is like crack if you've never tasted sugar plum I don't know if sugar plum is real I'm pretty sure it is right but it kind of tastes like apple to me and it smells like apple I'm living for it a hundred percent I love it so much so I'm super excited. We're just crossing the street into the Target parking lot. I came um, to look for like a Faja. Do you know what the Faja is? Like shapewear. I don't know if I should look at Ross first. Um, I don't think so because I looked at Ross last time and they didn't have anything. But um, yeah, I'm going to look at Target because I looked all over TikTok and there was this one that was going like super viral. And right now, uh, military like families get 10% off. So I'm going to come and use that right now but let me park right now so i could taste this drink for you guys i'm so excited that sugar plum cheese danish smells like crap so let's do the danish first if you've never had the starbucks um sugar plum cheese danish they usually sell out very fast and um i don't know if it was just last year but like kind of like due to supply issues we really didn't get it for a long time i'm not sure how it's gonna be this year hopefully better mm -hmm. Fill in and get it warmed up because chef's kiss. I'm so excited, y'all. Whenever I was growing up, Halloween used to be my absolute favorite like, fall and Halloween together. Absolute favorite pumpkin spice. I was the most excited, but now that I'm getting a little older. Christmas is where it's at. I love Christmas so much. For some reason, I just wasn't a big fan growing up. I think it's because, um, like, with the church, we used to have to go, like, Christmas caroling and stuff. So I think that's why I didn't like it as much. Um, it was an exciting time. But for some reason, I favored Halloween, which is... Sorry, God. But all right. We got a venti chestnut praline. I got it with oat milk. Um, I still kept the oat. I'm not lactose intolerant. I just am trying not to drink too much dairy, so that's why I do that. Oh, 
chef's kiss this is my favorite chestnut praline is my absolute favorite let me take a thumbnail that was so good the store that i came to it was a cafe store so um they had a lot of cups still um i just didn't like any of them that they had but what i did get from there was my wife and i put these ornaments on the tree every year and we've done it only for the past two years but we try and get an ornament for everywhere that we've been and i picked up the colorado one which is beautiful it's gold so i'm super excited about that and then it has like a little christmas tree a little pine tree not a christmas tree but tree there and then the little cup right there i am so excited for these suckers i save them every year and i make sure to try and get a new one every year whenever i was working for starbucks it was so much easier because i would get like 40 percent off um during the holidays so that's why i would buy so much i think i bought them all like last year and the year before i have a texas one a virginia one i think we have a washington dc one um, now I have a Colorado one, and I think that's pretty much all. We have, like, four or five. I think I have one just, like, a random little ornament, like, uh, just a cup without a place on it. So, um, that's part of, like, their Been There series. I love it so much. That's my, that's my thing. So, if anybody ever wants to send me one, let me know because I will take them all. I put them on my Christmas tree every year, no matter the theme. I make sure to fit them on there somewhere so let's go ahead and head into Target I don't know if I'm gonna bring y'all with me usually there's a lot of people in there it doesn't look like it right now because it's early morning uh, maybe I'll browse around the cups at Target because for those of y'all that don't know Target and all the licensed stores like Kroger's King Supers um, Safeway they all get all the better cups because you can't redeem your points for merchandise there so that's why they usually get all the better cups because you have to pay for them and you also can't use your partner discount so tea if y'all didn't know that that's why they get the better cups super quick target haul everyone's looking at me it's fine i really don't care but i just got a couple things i got these three little snowmen we're um gonna start decorating for christmas already because i said so so this is just a little three pack three dollars super cute i got two of these little trees because i'm gonna put them on the sides of my like behind my couch two of those and then I got, of course, the Faja. This is the one that I saw everywhere on social media. And I went between this color and the darker brown color. The only reason I got this color was because I thought it was an XL. And the brown one was a 1X. But whenever I was checking out, it turns out this is a 1X too. So I wish I would have got the darker one. But I got this one. This is the one that was all the rave on TikTok. Uh, it's the Assets uh, High Waisted. Which this one feels more stretchier than the brown one. I don't know. This is the Shaping Highway Short. So we're going to try it. Um, yeah, Asset Spanx. I got those. I got a ornament because we are doing an all white tree this year, minus the little pops of color. So I got this little white ornament. Cute. A dollar. It has a little tree on it. And then the last things I got, I was looking for these freaking everywhere. The only place they had them was at GMC. I, for some reason, did not want to go into a GNC because I was like, I don't even really work out like that. I just like them because of the taste. And sometimes I want to drink one instead of a coffee. But the Witch's Brew, I tried to order online at the time it was sold out. And it didn't come back until like a few days before Halloween. And I was like, nah, it's not even worth it. Fall's going to be over by the time I get them. But they had them in Target. So I picked up four of them. They were pricey. They were like $3. But right now, um, like I said, the military families get 10% off. So my whole order was like 50 something. It came out to 49 because I got like $5 off. So that's all I got at Target. I'm going to save the other 10% off for my wife. Um, so I can't come to Target again or else it'll automatically take off the deal. All right, besties. I am back in the car. I am back on base. It is a little bit later in the day, about 12 o'clock. And um, I'm currently taking my wife Burger King. I am so proud of myself because on a normal day, I would have had the most high anxiety getting off at that PX. What I tell y'all, it was packed with just military personnel. I've never been more anxious in my life. I don't know. I am just going to go drop off this food, head back home, and that's going to be a wrap for the video, you guys. I hope that you really enjoyed this video. I know that it was a little bit of up and down today, but I'm glad we got to spend the day together and the night yesterday. Give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already, and please don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you haven't already, I would really appreciate it. Join my little family. Go listen to my podcast. It is Crime Wife. 
basically wherever you can listen to podcasts for sure it is on amazon uh, amazon music google music or whatever google has it is on apple Podcasts, spotify and um a couple other ones like anchor things like that so basically wherever you can listen to podcasts it should be up so go follow me i will see you all in my next video hopefully we can christmas decorate together so so stay tuned mm -hmm.